I would say that everyone attending, I used to say show North America this year, knows a thing or two about cleaning and disinfecting. But what about the science behind residual antimicrobial products? Are you keeping up with the technology? Well, to help us with that today, we have with us Ted Eveleth, who's the CEO at Halloween, an expert company when it comes to surface protection. Hello, Ted. How are you? Uh, doing great today, Jeff. How are you? Doing good. This in, this is an interesting topic you're going to present at ISSA Show North America. Um, you are talking about in the Sulfur X Theater, the subject, residual antimicrobial products, opportunities, evaluation, decision making. Could you tell us a little bit about the topic and what you're going to present? What will people get? Well, so, so let me start by asking you sort of a, a random question. Imagine if I tried to sell you a deodorant that only provided protection for 15 minutes. Or what if I tried to sell you a sunscreen that really only worked for about 30 minutes? You'd say that's ridiculous. But that really is sort of the state that we have with disinfecting products. You go over the surface, you kill everything, and then there's no protection. And these days, people wanna feel protected. Um, and so we believe that the future of disinfection really is continuous protection, uh, where the surface is constantly killing any pathogens that happen to, to, to land there. But it's a really hard technical challenge. Um, if you think about it, take a step back, what you really need is like a, a a very thin invisible layer of material that you can't really notice, can't see it or touch it, but that's toxic enough to kill pathogens, but not so toxic that it hurts anybody. And so that's also sustainable. It's a, it's a conflicting, mutually exclusive set of requirements that are, are really technically challenging. Um, and then to solve the problem, there's also a lot of crazy claims and products out there and misinformation. So what I would like to do is I will review some of the, the biocidal materials that we have in our arsenal right now that we're using for non-continuous protection. I'll talk about some of the efforts that are, have been done to make them uh, provide continuous protection. And more importantly, give you a framework to think about how to evaluate them. So you know what test methods uh, are meaningful, what it would mean to you, and, and what some of the usual weaknesses are so that you can understand what what can benefit you and your customers. Um, that's what I hope to provide. And then I'm a little biased. We, we also have a product that we think matches some of those criteria, and I'll explain a little bit about that too.